What's up guys? Welcome back to a new episode of Building Wolfapolis. And we are on Minecraft as always. And uh, real quick, let me just go ahead and recap some of the things I've done. If you've noticed, I have, um, I've already go, I went ahead and I put in the floor and everything. And I've also topped off the ceiling on this modern house that I've been working on. I've also done some things like I've uh, brought the grass up around, kind of started the yard. And I've also uh, kind of developed this area that I kind of started at the end of the last episode. And I finished up the garage. I just got to figure out a way this episode on how I want the, uh, how to get from the garage to the inside. Which I'll make a door somewhere. And that's how that's going to go. And also to recap, let me fly over here real quick. Um, I was working on the, uh, the, the car repair shop not too many episodes ago. And I was just kind of going to show you guys the progress on that. It, it's, a, it's pretty close to being finished. It's, um, I mean, it, in here it's pretty much the same. The bathrooms are down there. But I've pretty much finished the interior as far as all this stuff. Like, as you can see, this is like the employee only area. So you can come up over here and hang your coat. And over here they got their like locker stuff so they can open that up and they can put their stuff in and store and you come down here come down these stairs and this is the uh, storage room uh, that we got all the inventory back here all the parts that you might need and then we have this door that takes you swiftly out to the work area so that's pretty much done the only thing I gotta do is um, uh, top this off and I also, I have some ideas for whenever I get done with this, I have some ideas for what I want to put over here. So uh, I'll, probably after I get done with this modern house, I'm going to continue to work back in the city because my plans are to uh, whenever, I, re I really want to get the strip area uh, complete. And if I just fly down here, uh, this is a nice long strip. And like I've said this before, I want to put a mall somewhere in here. This is a uh, high uh, tourist uh, lo location. So uh, there's gonna be all that kind of stuff. Uh, this uh, this strip is actually gonna continue. It's gonna keep going down this way. I just haven't uh, taken it down, and it's eventually going to make it to a bridge. And I'm gonna have this bridge go across the ocean, and that's actually gonna take me to another island. And that island is gonna be really cool because that's gonna be like the main land, and that's gonna be where all the skyscrapers are and everything. That's gonna be like the main city area. So uh, that's gonna be really cool. That's something that I'm looking really for, look at, really looking forward to. I'm also gonna build some condos and stuff along this. This is gonna be like the luxurious side of the uh, world. And there's nothing over here, so there's plenty of room for um, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm not gonna get too much into plans. Uh, uh, this is a pretty big world. Not gonna lie. Uh, this square that I've laid out is was the 360 size. So. Now, you know, Xbox One's been out for a while, so the world's been expanded for a while, so I'm definitely going to take advantage of that expansion, and I expect great things in the future, as far as that goes. But anyway, we're going to fly back over here to this modern house, and we are actually going to do some furnishing this episode. So, um, it's, a, a, it's a little dark in here. It's not that dark because we have the lighting, but uh, other than that, uh, yeah, it's empty and we need to put some stuff inside here. So I need to start brainstorming how I want the inside to look. And um, I gotta keep, I gotta uh, t take into account the fact that all these windows are here. So I, that's what I gotta think about when doing all these rooms. Now, the first thing that I want is a grand entrance. Um, First things first, I'm probably gonna put a waterfall out here up front just because that would be awesome. Or not water, not really a waterfall, or I might do a waterfall, I don't know. But more than anything, I'm probably gonna put a pond of some sort out there, some kind of fountain or something. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be cool. Um, but this entrance definitely needs to be grand. So first of all, let me clear my inventory and uh, we need to get out the appropriate blocks for what I wanna do. Now, first of all, I have an idea. I've kind of changed my thought process on how I want this to look. So what, what I'm actually gonna do is, I've, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of uh, this um, floor that I've already filled in. Uh, it's not a big deal. 
and that's because I honestly want this area up here to be completely open Re like that like I think it's I got some great ideas for it and I think that having this ceiling here is gonna kind of um, mess with my plans but don't worry uh, there this house was big anyway so we probably weren't gonna be able to fit um, each it, it like every square inch of the house into uh, like or I guess I would I'd run out of ideas this is a lot of space so we can take advantage of this space over here and we can um, add some more stuff so um, it's gonna take a just a second to uh, get rid of all these blocks um, a little tedious but uh we'll get rid of all these blocks and then we'll start to lay out how i want to do this now i got i got an idea and my idea is that there's going to be some kind of balcony that overlooks the entrance which is going to make it just so grand so awesome so that's my thought process behind that um and then there's going to be some nice like cool stuff in here like there's going to be i'm going to try to build my best to build a really awesome chandelier and so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to all the plans I have for this house uh, with that being my first uh, really modern house which honestly I don't even know if I can say that anymore because I ha I do remember that I do have this house and it's over in the area that I started with um, the, the area that I originally built Franklin's house and over there and stuff uh, that's where I started working I have a house down there and I guess you could call it modern it's more of a mansion to me when I think of this modern house, it's not a mansion. I mean, it kind of could be. It uh, it honestly could be a mansion, but it's not. It's like I guess a smaller scale than a mansion. So, I don't know. This is I guess this is my first smaller modern house. So we got that done, and like I said, I want this uh balcony here. So we can actually put a balcony here. Um, and one thing I want to get out is I want to get some, some glass panes, um, which they're actually kind of hard to find, but I'm going to take some glass panes across like this, and um, that's going to be our balcony. I'm going to figure out a, a better way to than to have glass connect to glass, but I'll think of that later. Uh, that's, that's how that's going to be in this area. This is going to be like bedrooms and stuff, but... Don't get me wrong, this is a big area anyway. Like, this area right here is bigger than most houses, so I don't think we'll have any problems putting all the stuff that we want inside this modern house. But, yeah, I think that's cool to have the overhang, and we also have this grand entrance with this high ceiling. So I got some really neat ideas for that. Um, first of all, I need to add some pillars to um, the balcony. I don't want it to look like it's floating too much. So let's get out some um, pillar quartz and we are going to make, I'm not sure how many of these I want. I might put one like here, bring it down like that. And then I might put another one like right here. That looks good. Now the question that I'm posing to myself is do I how detailed do I want to get into this because there's obviously a lot of things that I could do uh, for instance I could do something along the lines of this and I, I think I'll actually do that because it just looks so grand when you do stuff like that so that I'm just gonna make these pillars kind of cool like that I could even go take it a little further and maybe do something like this but I think that's a little overkill. I think we'll just have it on the bottom and those will just be some nice pillars holding up this area right here. So back to the grand entrance. Part of the grand entrance, I want this to be more than anything the entertainment area, I guess. Um, this is going to be like the big living room. Uh, it's going to be a big beautiful living room by the way. But I want you to be able to just sit on the couch, look outside, just ugh, like the view is going to be breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. So I need to find a block. I see. I want the inside to be a little different, like not be white over here. I want a little bit of contrast in wall. 
Um, so I need to figure out what would be a neat block to do. And there's obviously a lot of these blocks that I've never used before. And I was thinking of taking advantage of one of them because some of these blocks, they don't look great for most things, but they could look great for a wall. Um, I say I would, I, I don't want to go red or anything like that, but I definitely want something unique. So we got, we got granite and we got andesite. I've used andesite a little bit. I think andesite's a nice block, but I'm just trying to see if there's something, something different that I want to use for this wall. We even have purple blocks, which is pretty cool. And we also have, let me look at the instone bricks. I, I honestly like the instone bricks, so I might actually do that as like a, uh, kind of like a, a contrast in wall. And what I mean by that is what I'm going to do is with these stone bricks, I'm just going to cover up this part of the wall like this. And I think it's going to look really cool whenever it's done because this is a beautiful block and I like to take advantage of it. So we're going to try it. If we don't like it, we can, it's Minecraft, so we can obviously change it. But I think that this will definitely be something that's going to be really cool. And I don't want it to be that going all the way up. Uh, we're going to get out the uh, light gray wool and we are going to finish to finish taking this up with the light gray wool. So we have a little bit of contrast in wall colors. So, you know, it kind of takes away that white uh, color from this place and it adds something beautiful to it. it. It just makes it gorgeous. So I think that's a great idea. So let's take a step back and look at that. That's, um, that's what I wanted. That's honestly what I wanted. Um, so this is going to be the entertainment area. Like I said, what I want to do is I'm probably going to put a TV up here, but, uh, I guess we can go ahead and we can kind of put in like couches and stuff. Now I want some, I want some nice couches, some really nice couches. I'm gonna get out the gray wool for these couches because I want them to be dark. Uh, we're not gonna use white couches because that would be overkill with the white color. So um, we're gonna we're gonna try something different. I'm also thinking of a way that I want to a way that I want to divide this stuff up a little bit because this is gonna be a big area. I might I might do something real quick. I might do something to add a room here. Just right now, I'm gonna take this light gray wool and that's gonna be kind of a wall separator right there. Um, just, I don't know, just, just kind of brainstorming right now. Um, let, me, let me go ahead and take this up. Uh, like I said, I don't, I'm not really sure on how I want to do this. So I'm, this is like the, my best, the, like if you ever thinking of something, don't, don't like, uh, tell yourself, no, that's stupid. That's going to look stupid. Don't do that. No, don't, don't tell yourself that. Um, like do it, like do what you think is going to look good. And it very, most of the time, it, at least for me, it ends up looking a lot better than what I imagined. So just try stuff. So what I've done here is I've this living room area, I've split it up into, see, this is actually going to be a, another section of the room over here. Uh, I'm thinking this is going to be like, I don't know, maybe an office area or something, or I don't know. It's going to be something really cool. And it's going to be really cool because you're going to see the fountain or waterfall or whatever I'm going to put up front. So it's going to be a beautiful place to work. So that's kind of, I kind of think I want it to be an office area, to be honest. And, um, I think I'll kind of have this uh, connect. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want this to look awkward or anything by any means. See, what I was thinking of doing was actually um, filling this in. So I'm going to do that real quick and see what it looks like. I don't know, I, I don't want things to look awkward by any means. Hmm. 
You see, I kind of like that because it kind of separates the room and makes it feel not so big anymore. So I'm just going to keep that for now and we're going to roll with that. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, see I got another idea. Um, I'm going to add some kind of storage over here or something. So I'm going to make this room even a little smaller and I'm going to do something like this. And we'll change the outside and stuff like that. Um, some of this stuff might kind of be intruding. I'm actually taking that block over than what I should. Some of this stuff might be kind of obtruding with things on the outside. But we'll get it all fixed up. Trust me. This is like what I normally do when building houses. So sometimes things get a little messy, but they can most definitely be fixed. Um, yeah, I really like that. So this will be like a little offset um, area and then this is going to be like a little storage area. Probably not going to have a window in here anymore. So we'll definitely have to adjust that. Um, so with that being done, now we have this little room which I think is going to be perfect for our living space. Um, first of all, does this have a center? If I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's actually an odd number. So that's actually going to work out really well for the living room because the TV actually so happens to be four blocks wide. So we can definitely do that. So um, what I think I'll end up doing is going 1, 2, 3, 4, and let's go ahead and get the TV painting. Uh, where the paintings, decorations, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put a TV. I'm actually gonna move it over one. Hopefully we can get it um, somewhat fast. I get the TV painting and um, then we can kind of start to mold this living room, which this might take a while to be honest, whoa. Uh, I feel so stupid sometimes. I just got the TV painting and like a Dumbo, I broke it. I broke my TV. It wouldn't be the first time I said that either. Um, see, if I ever get this TV again, I'll consider myself lucky. Come on. One thing I kind of, uh, try to do to like uh, not break the TV is I'll actually uh, like keep on hitting the left trigger even after the paintings come up because I, I just got the TV there which is good we got a nice flat screen to go on the wall which is awesome now we can kind of add in the couches and stuff uh, like I said I want to be somewhat of a dark couch so I think we're gonna start back here and I'm gonna make the couch about, hmm, something tells me that this needs to actually be moved up a little, because I want some room to walk into that little area that I just created. So if we create a couch like that, um, we'll put a couch there, and then, um, actually to finish off this couch, one thing, like I said, I've, I've said this before, I wish we had a slab of every color. Because for things like this, like couches, we don't have like black or really dark gray um, blocks to use for a uh, for the bottom part, like this area. So a lot of times I have to improvise and use another block, which kind of sucks. I wish you could make it all one color, but Minecraft hasn't added slabs and stuff like that in, so it, it's whatever. We'll we can uh, live with what we got, and this couch is going to wrap around like that. It's all it's going to be a uh, all-in-one couch like that, and this is going to have the slabs like that. So we got ourselves a pretty nice living area over here. I'm probably even going to put. A glass coffee table. What color do we want the glass coffee table? To be honest, I on I just kind of want to go with clear. You can't go wrong with clear glass. It looks it looks so nice. So that's gonna be the coffee table. 
I might put a flower pot on there. I might not. I don't know. But we'll we'll roll with that for now. And uh, that's that living space pretty much. One thing I really want to do now for this area is add in a grand chandelier of some sort. Don't know how it's gonna look, so we're gonna sh we're, we're gonna attempt. We're actually not gonna make just one chandelier either. We're gonna make multiple chandeliers. So that's gonna be really cool. So for a chandelier, I'm gonna use a lot of glass for one thing. But not only that, we're gonna need some glowstone. So let's get some glowstone. And we first of all, we need to figure out our uh, starting point. To be honest, I, I don't even, I'm gonna start like that, which actually I want that brought over one block. Let's start there. So I just got my random pillar of glowstone blocks. And this is a good way to work around when doing things like chandeliers. So what we're gonna do, we want colors. We want beautiful, beautiful colors. So, Let's get some cyan. I think cyan's a great color. We're gonna get some lime. We're gonna get some orange and get some red. I think those are gonna be some pretty cool colors to go with. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna just randomly do stuff. Randomly do stuff. So I'm going to, for now, I'm just gonna place the cyan like this. Then we're gonna go with the green. And then we're gonna do this. See, it already looks really cool. Already. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, I don't know, I'm just brainstorming. I don't know what's gonna look good. And then we could add like the orange here. And over here. And then we could add the red over here. And then the red over here. And then what we can do is shape it as a chandelier so what we can do is first of all i'm going to just snip off some sides like this kind of make it more angled and then what i'm probably going to do is do something like that Ooh, that's really cool that's really cool did you know i don't know if you guys noticed but as of recently, they made certain things like this to where, like, like that. That's really cool. That is honestly like really cool. To be honest, it looks like almost a lightsaber. It's really unique. If only it lit up, that would be like the coolest thing ever. Um. So um. I think I think that's kind of shaped the way I want it to. It's still a little awkward, so I'm gonna snip it even more. I, I want I don't want it to be box like so I'm just every so often snipping off so as you can see we have something cool I just don't know how I want it to look entirely so you can't go wrong with chandeliers either like there's nothing wrong with just placing blocks. Like, sometimes you'll get something really cool. Uh, first things first, that's not gonna be just hanging like that. I'm gonna get out an iron bar. I'm gonna place it there so that it's like not hanging off of something weird. So that's gonna be my chandelier. That is, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about it. That's really cool, that's, that's unique. Uh, sometimes you just need to do things outside the box and sometimes they look good So there's nothing wrong with putting some color on your lights. That's taking advantage of that stuff So that's my first chandelier. I'll probably put more chandeliers around, but that's good for now um, One thing I might actually do is I might actually make this a walk area over here as well So um, let me get that get the uh, glass pane again and I'm just gonna take this along here. Obviously, we're gonna have to kind of change up the uh, floor block over here because we got pillar court, or not pillar courts, we have court blocks um, over here and then um, 
on this area that I just added, we have the light gray wool. So we're going to have to change something up about that. But I think this is kind of cool. You got this little walkway area. And see how you can look down? I just think that's so unique. So unique. So I like it a lot. I really do. And we have all this area over here to work with, which kind of scares me because I don't really have ideas for it. Um, but one thing that I did say that I was going to do was uh, this is going to be like an office area. Uh, something um, really, really comfortable, I guess. Something nice. So um, for our office area, we want to put a desk uh, somewhere. Could it be a, could it be this color desk? I think it could. We could do something like, um, oh, we got two on each side. I want, I want a decent sized desk. So, what I'm going to do is, do, 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 do. Let me get some string. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna get some string and place that there and then we're gonna get some gray carpet wherever you are right right there and we're gonna place you over there so it's kind of like a like a hanging um desk which is cool so um I don't know I mean, that doesn't look weird does it it looks like a unique desk I'd sit there I would I would Let's definitely sit there. And then what we can do is, um, let's just get out. Uh, we're, we're gonna make a chair. So I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a slab there. Then I'm gonna put a door. And then we're gonna get our signs and place them on the side for the armrests. It looks kind of lonely now that I look now that I think about it like just sitting over here just slumped over in the chair sad looking outside <laughs> it's kind of like a stalker um, kind of a stalker seat too like like you see like just staring at the people across the street which I actually you won't be able to because I'll add a fence up and stuff I think it's nice because they'll be able to look outside and stuff so I'm gonna keep it like that um, Another thing I might do is, just for a detail, I might add in some bookshelves in here. Um, so, let's get some bookshelves, and we'll just place them on the wall. Something along the lines of this. Again, read his books. I mean, whatever your profession is, to live somewhere like here, you know, you probably need to read books, and you're probably into books, so. There's that. And, um... I'll put a door here, and this is probably gonna be a storage room, like I said. Don't really know what kind of stuff you'd store in here. But it's gonna be a storage room nonetheless. So, let's see. That's some good progress. Uh, and um, we're actually uh, just about to run out of time on the episode. Gosh, it feels like these episodes go by so fast. Like, I get, it feels like I get nothing done compared to when I'm not recording. But I don't want to like record for like an hour because that can get boring. I think 30 minutes is honestly long. So I'm going to cut the video here. Uh, like I said, we made some good progress on this video. Um, we're probably going to continue to work on this house. And as we, I'll, I'll do a little bit of this house off camera and stuff. And um, next episode we'll probably continue to uh work on this modern house and then we'll go back more into the city and start to work on that but anyway i i'd like to thank you guys for watching the video make sure to hit that like button comment and subscribe this has been wolfstrike150 and see you later